there are so many research uh, innovations, breakthroughs happening. The ones I'd like to concentrate on, um, one I've already mentioned, the 15-year longitudinal study. I think that's going to be absolutely essential to understanding uh, what's happening in concussion and what concussion looks like over the long period of time. Will we dispel some of the uh, notions that we have? Will we find out that people have less or more uh, symptoms than we previously thought? I think is going to come out of that, that study. That study also incorporates a lot of measures. What measures cognitive function? What measures balance? What's the role of neuroimaging in some of the more um, advanced uh, avant-garde imaging techniques that are out there? What is going to be able to help us in not only the diagnosis but the evaluation and treatment of our, of our patients? I think there's um, great work being done within the services on uh, cognitive evaluation we're taking a look at uh, one um, neurocognitive assessment tools, and there are many. None of them are powered to diagnose a concussion. However, they are, have been used to help, once a concussion has been diagnosed, to determine or to help determine what type of cognitive, so thinking, memory problems someone might have. But we're taking a look at uh, a, a number of those to find out if one is better than the other and how to best use those, those tools. So one of the things I, I think will come of that is that we have better patient-centered evaluation and treatment options.